I mean, it just seems um, beyond understanding that people are prepared to take a risk with what is, without question, one of the most dire needs in our country, water, yep. fresh water. And the Karoo, being a dry place that it is, anything that could affect water must surely beg the question, what are we doing? And what are we doing to the earth? Remember that when the fight for St. Lucia started, the forces yes. that were arraigned against the chances of success were enormous. And in fact, everybody gave the chance, uh, gave us a chance of only 2%, 2% of winning the battle for St. Lucia. That's not a very big percentage. <laughs> uh, but I believe in the same way as the fracking, that either something is right or it's wrong, and it was right that St. Lucia should be saved. It is right that those dunes should not be mined. And when you have right on your side, and I believe that right is on the side of those who are against the fracking, then um, divine forces come into play. But it requires a great deal of human effort. What was your brother's advice to you about David and, and Goliath? Yeah, no, he, uh, I asked him to be a, a, a trustee of the campaign for St. Lucia. And he asked me what the chances of winning, and I said 2%. He just laughed and he said, you're mad. You think that I'm going to go for something that's only got a 2% chance. So then I reminded him, reminded him that when he was a little boy of about eight years old, I took him down to Laurie Stevens to learn how to box. He got into the ring with a big guy. This chap was smashing him all over the ring. And in the second round, I said, I've got to throw in the towel. I didn't want to see him beaten up anymore. And uh, he said, no, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't leave me, let me, I'll fight him. So I said, no, man, you, look at you. You're just a mess, blood everywhere. And he said, well, you know the story of David and Goliath? I said, yeah, sure, I know the story of David and Goliath. He said, but do you know what David said when he saw Goliath? I said, no, what did he say? He said, he's so big, I can't miss. He said, watch me. <laughs> and that's the lesson that we... That's the lesson. Yeah, yeah no matter how big mm -hmm. they are, the bigger they are, but you don't miss. Yeah. And if they're wrong, then you... I mean, there is, there is a divine... Well, yep. there is a cosmic force of good, yes. but there's also a cosmic force of evil. And it's our job as human beings to use the cosmic force of good to, force, to fight the cosmic force of evil.